What is going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. I have here the Victor Reader truck and today I'm going to give you five tips for all of the portable Victor Readers. So the Strek, the Trek, the Stream and the original Victor Reader. So this should work on some of them won't work on the original Victor Reader because you know it's been almost 10 years since the original but you know the Wi-Fi and um, you know some of the online stuff and there's one of them that I'm gonna give you that only works on the Trek so let's get started so the first one I want to talk about is uh, you can if, if you have the Victor Reader in your pocket and you're jamming numbers and you're jamming buttons because you know you're moving you can actually lock your Victor Reader so that you don't delete a book or something by mistake when you're listening to your book and you're you know jogging or something so you hit the star key so basically the undo key on the victor reader the back so on the bottom left of the of the of the dial pad the t dial pad whatever the heck the name is so you basically hold it down locked and it'll lock it so basically it, you know if it's in your pocket you're jamming keys and you know you're still listening to your book it just says locks and interrupts your book for two seconds to unlock the victor reader when it's in the lock mode you hit just type in one two three up new internet radio one that was a glitch one humanware playlist english north america wow you guys just experienced that that was a glitch okay let's try this again There we go. Export playlist to SD card. Cancel. One. Human re references. NLS barred. Five. Book. So. Five. First. Number five. The to go over this, you just hit like the star key or the undo key on the victory. Locked. And you use one, two, three to unlock. Unlocked. So, super simple. That's the first one. The second thing is to tell the time. You press the sleep button, so uh, above the play, rewind, and fast forward, there's a little moon shaped uh, button. That one usually tells you, you know, the sleep timer when you're reading a book or something. Well, if you hit it occasionally, like, so if you haven't hit it in like five minutes and you hit it once in a while, it'll actually give you the time, but you cannot use it for a while for time. It's not like you can get the time every one minute, every two minutes, because it won't work. You have to do it like every five, which is kind of annoying, but you know, you know, it, it is what it is. Seventeen fifty-seven hours. So it gives me the time and the date. Now, that one is cool, but if I hit the, the button again, I'm gonna wait like ten seconds. So if I hit it again now. 17, 58 hours, 25. See, it doesn't, but you, ha you have to wait a little bit. And if I do it immediately after, I get sleep. So basically, you have to wait a minute uh, before you can hit the button again to get the time, but that's fine, it's no big deal. Um, Honestly, it, this one comes in handy if you know you you're lazy to grab your phone or something and show another time. The third one is this only works on the Wi-Fi uh, Victor Reader, so the stream and the trick. Uh, if you hold down the library switching button, the, the switches between online and offline books. So the top middle button that's between the bookmark and the search button, you hold it down. And this will turn on airplane mode. This is awesome if you want to save battery. I do this, and when I said in my previous video I get about seven hours, some of you be like, "Yeah, right, I get five. That's because you don't turn on airplane mode. When I test something for review, so like the Victor Reader, I turn on airplane mode, read my book, and see how much battery I get out of this, and I get about seven hours on airplane mode, which is awesome. So you get about five without it. So use airplane mode, and it'll save you super amounts of battery. Orientation. GPS ready. Offline, online bookshelf. So, airplane mode on. See, it tells you when you switch back to online. So, first, number five, the sacred veil. 
so I have to hold it Michael down. Pike. Shut up, Victor Reader. Um, I, I have to hold it down to turn airplane mode off again. Airplane mode off. And that's using the um, library switching button on the top of the Victor Reader, the middle one. So, fairly simple. Okay, now the next one that I want to show you only works on the trick because of the fact that it requires a GPS and um, it's cool. So let's do that. So we're going to go to navigation. GPS ready. And just get it signal. Come on. There is no signal, but I'm going to mention it. When you are taking turn-by-turn -turn navigations, if you're listening to music and you have your phone and you're not paying attention to the Victor Reader saying turn left onto Pineapple Avenue, you know you can press GPS the play button and it will repeat the last utterance. So turn left onto such and such, or turn right on the, it'll repeat the last utterance. And that is super super cool because. You know, you don't have to stop the navigation and then turn it back on. You don't have to do all that. Uh, all you have to do is just hit the play button and get your last utterance that the GPS told you. So pretty cool. Now let's go back to online bookshelves because I have something to show you that will work on any part of the Victor Reader. And this one works on all of them, including the first generation, what I'm going to show you now. Offline bookshelves. So Notes. we're just going to go to offline. Notes. So I'm going to hit the, so the enter button, so the pound, and I'm going to hold it down and I will get my battery percentage. Battery powered, 25%. Downloads info, no downloads. So that basically gives you the battery. On the first generation, it'll just tell you the battery. And on the Wi-Fi, second gen, or the truck, it'll give you the battery and the download. That's by holding the enter or pound button on the keypad so I hope you guys enjoyed those five tips I've been using these tips a lot of them anyway since the beginning of the era I've been using Victor readers since 2006 2007 uh, back when they used to be the original big ones that they weren't the, they weren't even the stream or the they weren't they were like I forget that they were actually only made by humanware and NLS and then they took that idea and they brought it into the stream and they made a portable and that's when I got my first generation Victor Reader and that thing was awesome so these tips a lot of them will work for the first generation so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as I enjoyed making it comment rate subscribe you know what to do uh, if you have a Victor Reader comment down below how you like it because honestly you know, I've been a fan of these things since they came out, the portable ones. I have the desktop ones too, but you know, you have to have the CD or the Daisy cartridge and you know, ver you know, no cartridge is awesome. And if you need the cartridge, you know, the, fir the, the first gen originals, you know, had a little cartridge. I have one laying around the original Victor Eater with the cartridge, just because sometimes you get, you know, old books that you want to read that aren't available online and it's pretty cool. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.